This is our morning. We have, I have no idea, but close to six miles. Everybody is starting the process. And there's the sun. Hello. Okay, I looked at the map and we have five and a half miles to the trailhead and then another mile to walk to Paradise Valley Cafe. Then we will eat and then we are going into town. I can tell you guys, I am so ready to sleep in a nice bed, to take like five showers, to wash my laundry. The whole laundry thing has been just, just a, a mess, honestly. Like, it's definitely not as easy as on the AT. Like in the first place, we had to wash it in a bucket and it was so hard to dry the clothes. And you know, when you wash it yourself, it's never the same as when you get it done by the laundry machine, washing machine. And then the second time we were at the Julian Hostel, Julian Lodge, the same thing. Like we could have paid $15 to get the laundry done, but then we wouldn't have gotten it until the next day at 8 a.m. And that's when we started hiking. And also a lot of hikers said that their laundry was still damp when they got it back. So we weren't gonna risk it. So we washed our clothes and then dried it, but again, like I want it dried, I want it washed by a real washing machine, full on. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Also, I hope to heal some of these, you know, I have a chap lip, like a, it busts open all the time. I have a really, really sore nose from blowing my nose. And uh, I have this, like some skin issues, but like, oh, I just want to rest, slap some of the lotion on and eat and yeah all that and then look at mount jacinto mount jacinto however you pronounce it some people say huh, jacinto even though it's pronounced so not even though but because it's spelled with a j and some people say it's actually pronounced like a year like the germans pronounce a j like jacinto or san, ha san jacinto um, san jacinto anyway it is our absolute intention to hike it Maybe not the peak, because the peak is not part of the PCT. So if you look at far out, the red line represents the PCT, the blue line represents alternate routes. And the actual peak of the mountain is a blue line, so it's not a part of the peak, a part of the PCT. So if it's really, really, really dangerous, we are not going to hike an alternate. But we absolutely intend to hike San Jacinto. A lot of people suggest to skip it. I mean, everybody's just talking about how dangerous. And we, we understand that, but we want to look for ourselves. If we find it's too dangerous, we're going to turn around and walk around it. Um, but we want to see for ourselves because we found on the Appalachian Trail, lots of people were giving us warnings of something being super dangerous and it ended up being not dangerous at all. So we just kind of want to see for ourselves. Speaking of, how you doing? We're almost at the trailhead, so I think you're supposed to walk this way to um, uh, the Paradise Valley Cafe, but then I would miss this section right here. So I'm gonna walk all the way to the street and walk on the street because it's very safe.
see all the tents. <clears throat> Welcome bikers, hackers, and horseback riders. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, I'm here. I'm just waiting now for uh, Chap and Hammer. So I'm gonna look for my thing. Well, it's biscuits and gravy time, but that hash brown looks good, and this looks good too. All right, so we're done eating, and we have a really great gentleman giving us a ride to Idlewild. He was in the restaurant, and he just said, hey, I can give you a ride if you want. I was like, okay. Okay, let's go. This is Vic, Hello. he's giving us a ride. Hi. And you like to give rides to hikers? I do. So I you built this give... contraption in the back? I did. That's so <laughs> cool. That. You built a full on contraption to make it probably more safe for the hikers. Safer, too. less windy, and out of the sight of the policemen. Oh, yeah, those policemen, they like to. Like to give people in trouble for doing something nice, right? <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. There's a lot of police around here for some reason. I wonder why. So Vic says that this area was used to film a lot of Bonanza. What is the valley called? This is Gardner Valley. Gardner Valley. And there's Mount San Jacinto. Is it Jacinto or Yacinto? San Jacinto, I call it. Jacinto. Or Jacinto. There's different ways to pronounce it. Yeah, there's that storm right there. Yeah. Coming up. So since our checkout is not until late, check out and our check in. Let me try that again. So since our check in's not for a while, we're gonna do some chores. Maybe get food, then laundry, and then check in probably. Here's my bag. So in California, they don't have like plastic bags anymore. So this here refrigerator right there. Yes, four days of food, but not super organized. So fun fact, my ice axe has not arrived in the mail. So I don't know where to get an ice axe around here. It doesn't look like there's any, but any place, but we'll have to see. So somebody was watching me do the video about ice axes and told me to go to Nomad Adventures. So I'm going to see if I can just buy an ice axe right there. I do have to say it's a little bit annoying that I probably have to buy an uh, ice axe only because uh, Mountain Laurel sent it to uh, me for $30 to make it there on time. And Little Chaps is actually not there yet either, but he's really hoping that it will be there. Um, and he even paid extra for it to arrive even earlier. On Wednesday, it's so, Saturday. Hold on, I need to know where we're going. Seems like a mistake everyone has to make yeah, once here. All right, I got the ice axe that I have also at home or somewhere in the mail. $119 plus $25 for mailing into thin air. <laughs> Now we're on our way to see if we can do laundry, but in the notes it says the laundry is closed, but we're still walking. There's a car there. Because maybe the laundry services are closed, but you can still do like your own laundry. Well, well, we've got our laundry done, so that's good. And just like Chap does in his video, I almost feel like we're gonna say the same thing. <laughs> We're still wearing our 
none hiking clothes because we that we nasty we dirty we're, we're so gross we're gonna Filthy. take five showers so yeah we didn't want to put our nice clothes on i did put my one pair of my socks on just because i can't imagine walking in my shoes barefoot um but what was really cool is i called the place that we were gonna stay at and the owner's like where are you i'm just gonna get you and i was like really i mean he didn't have the country accent but he was like I'll just pick you up. I'm like, all right, well, that's like really nice. That's like really nice. There's my poles and my ice axe. Ooh. And that's Chap just doing his little thumbnail pictures. Isn't that cool? Pretty cool. All power, huh? It's literally so cool. Have a look. Wow, and it's so warm. We've got a balcony, a bathroom. It's like the best place ever. So I laid out some of my food I bought. But look at this like cute little cabin. It's called a bunkhouse, like Idlewild bunkhouse, but it's definitely not a bunkhouse. It's like cute little rooms. We gave Chap the big bed. I have the little bed for this time. We kind of switch back and forth. He's uh, drying his tie bag. Mine is on the left right there, my tent. So, pretty cool. Okay, got everything done. Shower, laundry, sorted stuff. Now we're gonna try to see if we can get to town to eat a burger. Yeah. Everything is... the owner of Idlewild Bunkhouse and Silver Pines um, gave us a ride. He's super nice. It's free shuttling all over the place. He is just so amazing and honestly highly recommend staying at his um, his places. So I, I really would say the free shuttling, the breakfast in the morning outweighs any sort of under undercutting um, the pricing and stuff like that. If you know what I mean. Right, we had a burger. And now, I don't know, we're gonna go back to the grocery store and then back to the room and then I'm gonna sleep! I was trying to hit that. walked back like 15 minutes to the place and when you're not on trail you just seems it's like why are we walking this <laughs> but I didn't want to call Raj again I just feel like he's driving everybody around like at no cost so I felt like we could walk this You're gonna you're gonna cut your tongue. You're just trying to drink my beer. Wow! You got rabies. <laughs> what is that? Your I'm ascent. Practicing. I have no idea how to use. Is it. that your ascent to Mount Jacinto? Yeah, and you see, I guess we gotta take the safety cap off. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just be like walking up, like. <gasps> nice. How you do it? Just like that. Good. Good. Alrighty, so this is the end of the Nero, which means we've hiked five and a half, <laughs> five and a half miles, and we've got everything accomplished, Sh shower, laundry, I told you guys I was going to do five showers, and I'm going to do it, I already took two, then tomorrow I have a zero, I'm going to take two more, and then maybe Monday morning I'll be taking another shower, who knows, maybe I'll take three showers tomorrow, I don't know. But I'm going to be so clean once I ascend Mount Jacinto. And um, yeah, so now just sitting here editing some videos, having a little twist of tea, and uh, hearing our neighbors laugh. So the sound here is definitely coming through the walls, but who cares? It's such a great place. 
Um, and <laughs> because of that, I kind of knew what was happening is when I saw earplugs uh, provided for us. <laughs> so <laughs> that kind of gave it away, right? So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. I never really do outros. I kind of did it today and the night before. I know Chap does a lot of out outros. I kind of like don't do that. I always forget and I don't know. Let me know. Do you like outros? Do you not like outros? Okay, see you tomorrow.